In the study of the Earth's history, it goes back billions of years. Earth's climate is essential to the planet's control of biodiversity. You may be aware that while humans and animals live under these conditions, there is a continent called Antarctic, an area inhabited by uninhabited but only animal divisions based on environmental factors. What is the history of this wonderful continent? What is its origin? What are its internal and external features? Today we will talk about knowledge first. Antarctica is a southern continent at the south pole of the Earth, covered by uninhabited ice. The isolated area of the peninsula is home to many species of animals, including penguins, algae, bacteria, fungi, protozoa and mites, nematodes, seals and turtles. At 14,200,000 square kilometers, it is the fifth largest continent and more than twice the size of Australia. It is the least populous continent with a population of about 5,000 in summer and about 1,000 in winter. About 98% of Antarctica is covered by ice, with an average thickness of 1.9 kilometers. Many cruise ships enter the continent via the Antarctic Peninsula, which stretches toward South America. Paradise Harbor, the remarkable icebergs and museum, and Port Leroy Antarctica, the former British research center here, are some of the tourist attractions. Antarctica is generally the coldest, driest, and windiest continent, with the highest average elevation of all continents. Much of Antarctica is a polar desert, with annual rainfall of about 200 mm. It stores 80% of the world's freshwater reserves, and if all of them melt, it would be enough to raise the global sea level by about 60 meters. How is the history of Antarctica? Who first discovered Antarctica? Captain James Cook's ships, the HMS, passed through the Antarctic Circle in January and December 1773 and in 1774. In 1775, Cook called Antarctica a polar continent and noted that it is firmly believed that there is no doubt that we have seen part of it. Captain Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen of the Russian Navy during 1819 since 1821, Captain Edward Brownsfield of the Royal Navy and Nathaniel Palmer, American sealer, conducted the first Russian Antarctic expedition. Because Antarctica has no indigenous population, no detailed history of the region can be found. But according to the oral history of Maori and New Zealand, Huey T. Urangara and his crew explored the Antarctic Ocean aboard the ship T. E. I. V. O. Asha in the early 7th century. According to sources named T. E. Taiyukapiya, it describes frozen ocean and arrowroot. Who controls Antarctica today, and how is it controlled? Antarctica is governed by the parties to the Antarctic Treaty System. In 1959, 12 countries signed the Antarctic Treaty. The agreement prohibits military activity, mining, nuclear explosions and the dumping of nuclear waste. It supports scientific research and protects the ecology of the continent. Although no permanent population can be found, Research sites scattered across the continent are home to between 1,000 and 5,000 people in many countries. What is the geographical location of Antarctica? Geographically, Antarctica is the southernmost continent, located asymmetrically around the South Pole and largely in the Antarctic Circle, surrounded by the South Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans, or the southern seas of the World Ocean. Antarctica has many rivers and lakes. Antarctica's longest river is Anix, and Vostok, the world's largest subglacial lake, is also located. Antarctica covers 14 million kilometers and is 1.3 times larger than Europe. The total coastline is 17,968 kilometers and is divided into four sections. The whole of Antarctica is bordered by the Trans-Antarctic Mountains, which lie close to the Ross Sea and the Wet L Sea. About 98% of Antarctica is covered by ice, with an average thickness of 1.9 kilometers. Let us now study the animals of Antarctica. Antarctic wildlife is endemic and must adapt to the dryness, low temperatures, and high exposure that are common in Antarctica. 
Inland extreme climates differ from the relatively mild conditions of the Antarctic Peninsula and the Subarctic Islands in that, they have warmer temperatures and more liquid water. Much of the ocean surrounding the mainland is covered by sea ice. Oceans are the most stable environment for life on the waterfront and seabed. The penguin emperor is the only animal that breeds in the mainland of Antarctica during the winter. Antarctica has no diversity compared to the rest of the world. Terrestrial life is concentrated in coastal areas. Birds nest on the soft shores of the peninsula and coastal islands. Eight species of penguins inhabit Antarctica and its offshore islands. They share these areas with seven transparent species. There are ten caterpillars in the southern ocean around Antarctica, many of which are migrants. Although there are very few terrestrial invertebrates in the mainland, the species that live there have a high population density. Invertebrates inhabit the high-density oceans, and Antarctic grill form ensembles and extensive herds during the summer. There are also benthic animal communities around the continent. More than 1,000 species of fungi have been found in and around Antarctica. Large species are restricted to the sub-Antarctic islands and most of the species found are terrestrial. Plants are similarly largely confined to the subcontinent and the western border of the peninsula. However, some mosses and lichens can be found even in dry interiors. Many algae are found around Antarctica, especially phytoplankton, which form the basis of many Antarctic food networks. I will say goodbye today until I see another new video. Please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon. If you know or want to know about Antarctica, please comment.